Hello and back to the back of the My name is Phil, of course. Welcome back to play Star Wars Saga Unboxings, where today we've got this, which is um, the TIE Fight, Special Forces TIE Fighter from The Force Awakens for the X-Wing Miniatures game. As you know, I love this game. I love unboxing these ships on this channel. And this is just the latest. So, let's take a closer look. Okay, let's take a closer look at this, shall we? So, Hello, it's the usual clam shell design for these small Phil, packs. Of course. Got the uh, special forces tie fighter Hello, there. You can tell the special forces Mine's one because of the blood strike there. Welcome back to uh, the it's also a little bigger. We should today. look at that in more the detail later on. So you've got the back the here, all the usual the gunk. Type, There's 10 cards, 18 tokens, new dial, paint a plastic ship, basic pegs, and then the gunk. So this is very much the pilots. The first order were authorised to fly the specialised two-seater tie craft, outfitted with enhanced weapons and sensor systems. Yet, weirdly, um, you can't actually have a crew slot on this for some reason. Um, all the rest of the gun down here, not a children's toy, age 14 and up. Uh, actually, it's a cracking game uh, for any age, but yeah, it says 14 there. Oh, oh dear. Oh well, let's crack into it. I have my knife here, as usual. A uh, different knife this time around, but uh, as always, uh, if you are younger, do get an adult for supervision, just so you don't either cut yourself or um, do something silly like cut into the miniature or any of the useful bits that you need. So let's just uh, continue cracking to here. There we go. So as usual, down the bottom, you've got the base and the pegs and everything you need um, to put the ship on. And then you've got the ship itself. So, at the front here, it's like a normal um, first little TIE fighter, except you've got the antenna here. You've got a big old blood strike, which does go all the way around. The back here, you've got the additional um, weapon system here. And the blood strike continues around. It's a little bit larger than a standard TIE fighter, not by much. Um, but it's really, really cool. I love the blood stripe. I think it's really cool. And then everything else is in the little baggie as usual. So we shall get that out. Apologies for the plane if you can hear that in the background. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, see, look, accidentally cut it to the bag. That's what you've got to be careful of when you uh, are working with the knife. I'm working behind the camera and then doing it. So that's why I cut into that. Um, but we shall get into here. So you've got your uh, base plates on here, you've got your shield tokens, you've got your target locks, stress tokens, critical hit, uh, manoeuvre dial, uh, numbers for the bases, and a focus token. And then you've got all other cards. So you've got your upgrade cards, which are the little ones here. Fantasy Flight actually do provide you sleeves, so you've got to lose the ones here, they recommend. Um, so that if you want to protect these, I actually do use the little sleeves, and they are quite good. I've got ones for both these and the upgrade cards and the normal cards, because you see they are different sizes. Um, but yes, you get wired, you get collision detector, sensor cluster, you get two of those, and then you get special ops training, which I quite like this, because I love the first order of troopers and the TIE fighters in the background. I think that's really cool. Love a little bit of artwork there. And then you get the pilot cards. So you have Quick Draw, which is once per round when you lose a shield token, you may perform a primary weapon attack, which I do absolutely adore with this, because when you team up with the Special Ops Training, um, which is when you're performing a primary weapon from your uh, primary firing arc, you may roll one additional die. If you do not, you may perform an auxiliary attack, additional attack from your auxiliary firing arc. So once per round, once you lose a shield, you can do two attacks. It's brilliant. Um, you've got Backdraft. Uh, when attacking a ship inside your auxiliary firing arc, you may add one critical hit result. Uh, Omega Specialist and Zeta Specialist. Those two have no additional rules. Um, a lovely little ship, and it's got, as it's saying there, the auxiliary firing arc. So not only, for the first time, can you fire out the front arc with a TIE fighter, you can fire out the rear arc as well, like in the film. So that's a quick little look there at the Special Forces TIE Fighter. Alright, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.